the two PFAs detail physical and verbal abuse. Ricky Shannon filed his on November 5th, and the 19-year-old filed hers on November 7th, just a few hours before state troopers say Shannon shot her. Getting served can act as an accelerant functionally. Shannon and the 19-year-old girl were granted temporary PFAs and were not allowed to have any contact. Shannon's PFA accuses her of hitting and choking him while they lived together in Altoona. The 19-year-old's PFA alleged she was scared he was going to find her and hurt her because he would joke about cutting her body parts off. But her PFA never mentioned any firearms. State police say Shannon had a license to carry and legally purchase guns in the past. Adam Garber with Ceasefire PA says relinquishing firearms for a PFA only happens if it is finalized through the court system or the petitioner specifies the request. But he says it's a critical part of the process. We know in these cases removing the firearm makes people safer. According to the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Domestic Violence, in the state, 119 victims died from DV incidents last year. 92 of them were shot. It's one of the reasons we've been advocating for extreme risk protection orders, which is a separate process that we don't have in Pennsylvania. State police say Shannon shot three other family members of the 19 year old on Friday and a family friend. I did talk to them earlier today. They tell me that two of those family members are still recovering tonight in Lancaster County. Sarah Metz, WGAL News 8.